Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at an example illustrating uh, the application of Z-transform for an infinite signal. That is, we are going to look at application of of the Z-transform of the Z-transform to an infinite signal to an infinite signal basically an infinite sequence so that is given a signal x of n uh, for example 1 by 2 power n u of n like that is a power series like this that is that is uh, x of n is equal to values 1 1 by 2 1 by 2 power 2 and so on that is a general term is given by 1 by 2 power n and so on up to infinity that is we have infinite number of terms in this x of n or in this sequence so how do we apply the z transform the definition is x of z is equal to the summation n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity x of n z power minus n so that is the definition of z transform now this signal x of n is given by 1 by 2 power n u of n that means this is the unit step sequence that means it starts at n equal to 0 therefore by applying that idea that unit step sequence starts at n equal to 0 we have that summation n equal to 0 to infinity 1 by 2 power n z power minus n so that is the z transform of 1 by 2 power n u of n but we can simplify it further that means we can rewrite this one summation as n equal to 0 to infinity 1 by 2 multiplied by z power minus n z power minus 1 power n so this is the summation from n equal to 0 to infinity 1 by 2 power into z, z power minus 1 or z power minus 1 whole power n so and now this one looks like a power series expansion now let us simplify that one uh, so n equal to 0 to infinity 1 by 2 into z power minus 1 whole power n it looks like a power series uh, 1 plus a plus a square plus a cube and so on and the general term is a power n and so on up to infinity and this one is usually given as 1 by 1 minus a for values of a that is absolute values of a less than 1 if the absolute value of a is less than 1 this summation converges and it is given by 1 by 1 minus a so the summation uh, n equal to 0 to infinity 1 by 2 power on times z power minus 1 power n is similar to the summation where a is equal to 1 by 2 z power minus 1 that is a is equal to 1 by 2 z power minus 1 and for modulus of a less than 1 that is 1 by 2 z inverse this modulus of this value less than 1 or the region mod z that is absolute value of z greater than 1 by 2 that is just uh, analyzing this relation or sending this z to the right side we have mod z greater than 1 by 2 that is the whole z plane outside the circle of radius 1 by 2 uh, let us illustrate that graphically so this green region that is the z whole z plane outside the circle of radius 1 by 2 outside the circle of radius 1 by 2 so this is the circle of radius 1 by 2 so this is the circle of radius 1 by 2 so the whole z plane now for this region this power series will converge and the value is given by 1 by 1 minus a that is 1 by 1 minus half into z inverse then for this region the power series x of z becomes 1 by 1 minus 1 by 2 z inverse since we assumed a is equal to 1 by 2 z inverse so the power uh, the z transform x of z will be equal to 1 by 1 minus 1 by 2 z inverse that is for values of z outside the radius of circle 1 by 2 so to summarize for a given signal x of n equal to 1 by 2 power n u of n that is an infinite signal with a value 1 by 2 that is less than 1 and uh, 1 by 2 power n which basically reduces with the value of n uh, the z transform is actually given by uh, 1 by 1 minus half z inverse and this series or this z transform converges only for values of z outside the circle of radius 1 by 2 so inside the circle the z transform does not exist that is it actually can uh, diverges thanks for watching